Step 1 is to open up a new tab and type in this on the screen of your browser, aejuice.com. And your search engine or search browser and then click enter. And once this has been loaded, basically what you're going to do is go to here where it says on the top right screen, free plugins. And basically now you're in the free plugins page. Now if you have a Windows, click download for Windows or for Mac. In this case I have Windows, so click download. Now you have to put your email in order to download this. Type this in, and then click you agree with their terms and policies and then click download and now you should be onto the screen right here and as you can see you have already downloaded it so uh, you can click download installer again and then there are the supported softwares so I'm going to click download again for Windows and then it will download right here and now basically once it has been downloaded as you can see you can double tap or click on the AE juice and then you have the application and then you want to double tap on this here and if you have WinRAR and then you can also do this and you just click or right click on your downloads and click extract here and now we have a screen right here if you would like to accept and install and then wait for AE Juice Pack Manager free plugin to install and once it's complete click finish and you can close it here on the website and if you want you can go under your search bar and type in AE Juice and as you can see we now have the pack manager so we're going to click this or run as the administrator and click yes and then now you can even open up Adobe Premiere Pro. Now you're going to be getting the screen right here which you can choose which software you would like to use. In this case we're going to click Premiere Pro and then click continue and as we can see we have the starter pack so we'll click download here and we have so many other packs as you can see and you can click download again click download download which one they're all free. Now you can double tap to import our first elements and as you can see, it's going to check for updates, but it's also going to download. Okay, it has been downloaded, and there it is. And as you can see, we basically can just drag this onto our project bin, and it is a glitch effect. Again, if you want to learn how you can save hundreds of hours and money online per year creating content, click the link down below, scan the QR code, and thanks for watching this tutorial.